All right, boys, this video is brought to you by the EA Creator Network. I was able to play the game early, capture some footage. It is still a work in progress, but let me show you about the best defensive addition they've put in the game since the hit stick in 2004, the switch stick. I'll show you guys how to use it, how to get down with it, uh, how to get busy with the switch stick, man. All right, boys, the switch stick. Now, this is what I've been using for the last couple months in the game. Uh, this is a Elite a Fusion. This is a Fusion. I do use an Elite Xbox controller as well. Uh, that has paddles you can put on as well. Um, I've never really used paddles for Madden, and I'll, I'm going to use them because of the switch stick, and I'll tell you guys why. Uh, what the switch stick is, it's the ability to mid-play mid play you can switch on any single player man you can switch on an outside corner a deep safety if you see a cover three bomb happening you can click on the deep safety move them over take that away if you see a corner out coming you can click on the outside third jump down more aggressively you can click on outside cloud zones and cover two to stop deep corner routes you tired of people rolling out and throwing corner routes over your zones you can now click on the zones in the middle of a play it is ultimately the biggest defensive difference maker they've put in the game. I, I might say maybe better than the hit stick. Not cooler, but it might be better than the hit stick. Once somebody you see somebody clicking on and switching on to different defenders in the secondary, it's confusing. Makes you hold the ball. Makes you question your reads. Make you anticipate it. It's just another level of defense that the best players are going to master how to do it, man. And you can watch me do this every single night live on Twitch, boys. That link is below. But like I said, I've been using this Fusion A3, Fusion 3 or whatever. But it has built-in buttons on the back. The way you you switch stick, and I'm gonna I'm gonna just break it down. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna be on one player, and then you can click the stick with the right stick, the right stick. You can push this which way you want it to go. You can push it left, right, up, down. If you want to go to the deep safety in the middle of the field, straight up. You want to go to the corner on the left, left. If you want to go up 11 o'clock, you go to 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Just whatever direction you want to switch on, and they'll switch you there. There's some rules for this for the most part, but my biggest advice to get used to this is stay in the same type of coverage, essentially. Let's, let's try maybe you want to rock a cover 2. Maybe you want to rock... And I think a cover two is a really good way to use this. Um, and we're going to rock a little cover two here. We're going to go against just a random shotgun pass. If you guys know the computer, they're super they're super uh, quick with the ball. They're super quick to get rid of the ball. But some of the rules here with the switch stick. One, you have to be in, in a coverage other than blitz. All right? Uh, if you're blitzing, there's another mechanic to do it, but I don't recommend it. I believe it's like you hold left, you hold the left trigger down and click on. I'm not sure about that. Uh, we can figure it out now. But for me, I always make sure I am in a zone, a man coverage, a spy, because you have to be cognizant. If I'm going to click off this lineman or this linebacker, what is he then going to do? Because if you're just blitzing, yeah, that dude will just wind up blitzing. It's no big deal. But for me, I want to maybe, if I click off him, he's going to drop into a mid-read. Or I can do this to where if I once, I once I switch off of him, he's going to go deep down the field. If anything, he'll be there to help tackle if we give him a big play. Or sometimes I'll put him in a spy. That way, once I switch off of him, he goes to get the quarterback. You can't have him in a blitz, but you can have him in a spy. You can have him in a deep blue. Sometimes I'll do this, like I'll, I'll go no coverage over here on the left, right, or on the right. Then I'll have him in a purple zone this way. So once I switch off him, he'll keep guarding this side of the field. So you have to be cognizant of what you're putting that player in as well. And I also, okay, so say they're running maybe a corner route to the right here, and they're going to have the backside guy on a drag, this backside left receiver. Maybe I'll man my linebacker up. So then when I switch stick onto the right corner here, then my linebacker will then take away the drag on the left side. You know, so you have to be cognizant of what your user is in and what he's going to do when you switch stick. I'll be honest, I've been switch sticking probably 80, 90% of the plays on defense. Take away one route with your user and be watching the rest of the field and where to switch. 
So if I do this, like I kind of anticipate, okay, I'm going to click on the, the corner on the right here. So we're going to try to do that. Once the play breaks down, click right. Now we're on the right corner, you see. But because I manned up that linebacker, the middle of the field was vacant. That's what I mean. So we'll try a, we'll try a little cover three, a cover two again. This time we'll click on the outside right corner, right stick. Oh, we're in the slot. We got the corner route. See though? So you kind of got to... You kind of got to see who they're going to click you on and, and react to it a little bit. So right here, I'm in my mid read. I click off him and they give me the slot on the right. I clicked right on the right stick and I'm able to run and cover that corner out. That's probably going to be open on cover two without me doing that. Now, I, obviously, I wanted the outside cloud zone, but getting that vert hook is big and I was able to cover that corner out. And then it goes back to what did I put my linebacker and now my linebacker is dropping to the middle of the field in a mid read. If I had him in a spy, he'd be closer to the quarterback. And like I told you, if I had him manned up on the, on the drag, he would have covered that drag coming down. So you got to be aware of what you're putting your user in pre-play if you're going to be using the switch stick left and right. Now, all right, same thing. We're going to try to click on the right, the right outside corner. And we got on. We had to do two clicks right there. See, we had to do two clicks. We went right, right. Cause it took me to the right slot again and i saw that and i went right right again to run down here and maybe get this pick right here if, if your user throws it or cover one of those guys so uh that's what's going to happen now this is why sometimes if that's the case and i notice is i mean i'll do a little db fire type of look here right and we'll do gun pass shotgun now if i do db fire right now I know this guy's blitzing, so they're only going to give me that corner on the right. So we'll do uh, we'll do mid read here, and we'll click on the. Let's we'll go mid read with my guy, and we we'll, and we know because he's blitzing, they're not going to give me the slot. They're going to give me straight to the right corner, and I'll be able to click on him right away. Right corner, and I run down here get the flat. He do to the side with coverage. That's what I mean about the switch stick. Know where you're going to go and who's it going to give you. If you have too many people in coverage. It's a little more unpredictable who they're gonna click you on so it might work the best with the blitz behind it but i'm able to go ahead i have myself in a mid read i click on the right corner on the right here obviously they go to the left but you see i can get the flat real quick might be a pick six if they make this read right away that you're in a cloud and you can click on run down here boom and then the guy you clicked off is now taking his mid read responsibility in the middle of the field that's the way i use the switch stick that's the way I adapted to it. I don't like, some people are going to try to use the D line and click. On, I don't think that's a good idea because uh, I want to be able to cover the more routes you can cover and the more unpredictable you can be on the field is always better on defense. Now I talked about the paddles. I did talk about the paddles. And one of the reasons I'm going to use the paddles is this is kind of an oversight or like I think a little bit forgot a little bit of this because the way the game is, um, essentially it's a little tough is that when they the quarterback rolls out what you're going to get is obviously clicking in the right stick is send the spy at the quarterback but a lot of times when i click in the right stick it then starts switch sticking me so i don't want to do that so what i did is make one of my back paddles right here is the right stick function so to send the spy instead of clicking the right stick i'm spamming this paddle button now most of you guys probably have different controllers that you play shooters with you play different games that have paddles but that's how i'm using my paddles in college football and madden because of that now oh yeah i did just remember if you're using a d lineman let me try this if you'd want to do this right user to d line i believe you hold b b and then left stick will switch you let me see Oh, that's tough. If you hold B and then left stick, I honestly, yeah, there it is. If you're using a blitzing, a blitzing player, if you hold B and then left stick, so I'm just going to hold B right here on Guillory. But if I'm doing this, can I really rush the passer? Like, what's the point of this? I don't know. It's a, little, it's a little tough for me, but that's how you do it if you want a user to D lineman or something like that. But that's the way I've been using the switch stick. I've been able to come up with some huge picks, make some big plays with the switch stick. And at the end of the day, 
it might not be the greatest and you might not come up with these huge interceptions and these huge plays, but as long as you mess with your opponent's mind and make them second guess that corner route or second guess that deep cross or cover three bomb, you are going to change the game defensively. It's the best thing they put on defense. Defense is really hard in college. And if this is the biggest uh, weapon you have as a defensive player is the switch stick in college football 25.